endemic fungal atypical pneumonia so those five fungi are i want to highlight the five fungi first the first one is histoplasma second one is blastomyces so histoplasma and blastomyces these are the first two fungi which causes endemic atypical pneumonia so the next two are coccidiodes and paracoccidiodes coccidiodes and paracoccidiodes and the last one is sir talaromyces marnefi sir which are the five fungi that causes endemic atypical fungal pneumonia are histoplasma and blastomyces sir coccidiodes and paracoccidiodes and talaromyces marnefi sir if you talk about talaromyces marnefi sir talaromyces marnefi produces red pigment on its da ma'am that is a very important point right which are the fungi producing red pigment on its da and one of the fungi is Telluromyces marnefi. Telluromyces marnefi produces red pigment on SDA. That is a very important point. So now you know which are the five fungi that causes endemic atypical pneumonia. And you also need to know all these five fungi which causes endemic fungal pneumonia are dimorphic fungi. Sir, what do you mean by dimorphic fungi? You know, dimorphic fungi are the fungi which exist in the yeast form and also they exist in the mold form. Therefore, you have to show the picture of yeast form and also mold form for all of them. Before that, you know, all of them they cause atypical pneumonia. And you know, atypical pneumonia manifests with cough, chest pain, that is dyspnea, and no consolidation. Sir, you already know the clinical manifestation for all the five. And treatment for all the five is same. Treatment for all the five is same. Drug of choice is itraconazole or liposomal amphotericin B. Sir, mild to moderate, case, moderate cases, itraconazole, severe cases, liposomal amphotericin B. Sir, clinical presentation is same for all the five. Clinical presentation is pneumonia manifesting with dyspnea cough and dyspnea without consolidation and treatment is same for all the five itraconazole or liposomal amphotericin b the only thing in which they differ is lab diagnosis and if you talk about the lab diagnosis you know they are dimorphic fungi you have to show the yeast form you have to show the mold form let's show the yeast form and mold form and identify these five fungi sir beginning with the first one right histoplasma sir histoplasma causes pneumonia histoplasma causes pneumonia no doubt in that but pneumonia caused by histoplasma is known as histoplasmosis, which is also known as Darling's disease, which is also known as Ohio Valley fever. Sir, it is known as histoplasmosis because it is caused by histoplasma. It is known as Darling's disease because it was described by Mr. Darling, Dr. Darling, the name of the person, Darling, who explains the, explained the histoplasmosis. It is known as Ohio Valley fever. It is most commonly seen along the Ohio Valley. That's why it is Ohio Valley fever. And the yeast form, yeast form, sir. And if you talk about the yeast form, yeast form of histoplasma, you can identify by seeing intracellular yeast. That means if yeast is found within the cell, 100% it is histoplasma. Remember this, um, among all the fungi, histoplasma is the only intracellular fungus. Among all the fungi, histoplasma is the only intracellular fungus. Therefore, if you see, like you see in the image, what you see in the image is, sir, in the image I can see a cell. This cell is macrophage. This is the nucleus of macrophage. And within the nucleus of macrophage, what do you see? These round, round cells are yeast cells. If yeast cells are found within the macrophage, intracellular yeast confirmed it is histoplasma because there is only one intracellular fungus, histoplasma. Then if you talk about the mold form, sir, in the mold form, what do you see here? In the mold form, what do you see here? Sir, this is... In the mold form, what you see here? So this, these are conidia. These are conidia. And conidia are surrounded by tubercles. These are tubercles. So conidia are surrounded by tubercles. And these conidia, we call them as tuberculate conidia. So if you see tuberculate conidia, confirmed it is the mold form of histoplasma. So this is how we identify histoplasma in the yeast form, in the mold form, in the yeast form, intracellular yeast, in the mold form, tuberculate conidia identified. Sir, if you talk about blastomyces. Sir, blastomyces causes pneumonia. Blastomyces causes pneumonia, which is also known as blastomycosis because it is caused by blastomyces. It is also known as Gilchrist disease because it was explained by a scientist known as Gilchrist. It is also known as North American blastomycosis because it is most commonly seen in North America. Then yeast form of blastomyces. Sir, yeast form of blastomyces is identified by seeing broad base budding yeast cells. There are budding yeast cells whose base is very broad like you see in the picture. Sir, broad base budding yeast cell. Somebody considered it as number 8 and called it as figure of 8 appearance. Sir, if you see broad base budding yeast cells are figure of 8 appearance that is the yeast form of blastomyces. And if you talk about the mold form, sir, pear shape conidia. If you see the conidia which are looking like pear shape, pear shape, which are present along the hyphae. 
You can see here, this is the hyphae. Along the hyphae, you can see this pear shaped conidia. You can see pear shaped conidia. Sir, if you see pear shaped conidia along the hyphae, that is the mold form of blastomyces. So, this is how you identify histoplasma and blastomyces, yeast form and mold form. Sir, histoplasma yeast form is intracellular yeast and mold form is tuberculate conidia. Sir, blastomyces yeast form is broad base budding. Okay, broad base budding or figure of eight appearance and mold form is pear shaped conidia. Sir, moving on to the next two. Sir, that is coccidiodis and paracoccidiodis. Sir, coccidiodis causes pneumonia which is known as coccidiomycosis or it is also known as valley fever, just valley fever. Otherwise, California valley fever because it is found along the valley of California. It is also known as desert rheumatism because it is found most commonly in the desert area. Right. And coccidiod is yeast form. In the yeast form, what do you see, sir? In the yeast form, what do we see is spherule. And you know what is spherule? Sir, spherule is the yeast cell containing endospores inside. You see, this is the yeast cell. This is the yeast cell. This is containing endospores inside. Sir, yeast cell with endospore inside, spherule. Spherule. Coccidiod is, if you talk about the mold form. Sir, you see arthroconidia with fragmented hyphae. Sir, arthroconidia means rectangular shape conidia. Right, sir. If you see the conidia here, are rectangular in shape, rectangular in shape. Sir, rectangular shape conidia, and they are present in between the hyphae. They are present. So these are the hyphae. These are the hyphae, and in the hyphae in between, you can say these are the conidia, rectangular shape conidia. They are present in between the hyphae because of that, it looks like hyphae are fragmented. Sir, orthoconidia with fragmented hyphae, rectangular conidia with fragmented hyphae. So that is how you identify coccidiodes. That is how you identify coccidiodes, yeast form and mold form. Sir, if you talk about paracoccidiodes, sir, paracoccidiodes causes pneumonia, which is also known as paracoccidiomycosis. And it is also known as South American blastomycosis because it is most commonly found in South America. Sir, why it is known as blastomycosis when the disease is paracoccidiodes? Because if you see blastomycosis, I told you blastomycosis is also known as North American blastomycosis. It is most commonly found in North America. Sir, North America, okay, blastomycosis, okay, because the disease is blastomycosis. But paracoccidiodes, why you call it as South American blastomycosis? Because if you see the mold form of blastomyces, so the mold form of blastomyces is pear shaped conidia, and if you see the mold form of paracoccidiodes is also pear shaped conidia. Sir, in the mold form, they appear exactly same. In the mold form, paracoccidiodes appear like blastomyces. And it is most commonly found in South America. That's why it is known as South American blastomycosis. Whereas in the yeast form, the picture is not same. In the yeast form, blastomyces shows, in the yeast form, blastomyces shows broad based budding a figure of eight appearance. Whereas in par paracoxidiodes, what does it show is, sir, paracoxidiodes is having yeast cells with the projections which look like Mickey Mouse ears. With the projections which look like Mickey Mouse ears. Sir, yeast cells. Yeast cell surrounded by Mickey Mouse, yeast cell showing Mickey Mouse appearance. Yeast cell showing Mickey Mouse appearance is the yeast form of paracoccidiodes. So this is about coccidiodes and paracoccidiodes. Sir, so coccidiodes yeast form is spherule, mold form is orthoconidia with fragmented hyphae. Paracoccidiodes yeast form is Mickey Mouse appearance and mold form is pear shaped conidia. Sir, so finally, if you talk about Talaro. Mysis marnefi, which produces red pigment on SDA. Sir, pneumonia caused by Telaromyces marnefi is known as Telaromycosis because it is caused by Telaromyces. It is also known as Penicilliosis because another name of Telaromyces marnefi is Penicillium marnefi. And that's why another name for Telaromycosis is Penicilliosis. And it is most commonly seen in South East, Southeast Asia. And now if you see the yeast form, sir, in the yeast form, what you see is oval shape yeast cells. Sir, usually yeast cells are round in shape. You never see oval shape yeast cells. By chance, if you see oval shape yeast cell with a septum inside, in the middle, confirmed it is Telaromyces marnefi. That's how you identify. That's how you identify the yeast form of Telaromyces marnefi. Right? What is the yeast form of Telaromyces marnefi? Sir, oval shape yeast cells with a septum inside. And in the mold form, you get bottle brush appearance, which look like brush to clean the bottle. Bottle brush. If you see here, sir, looking like bottle brush. Sir, there is a hyphae. This is the hyphae. From the hyphae, what arises is conidiophore. What arises is conidiophore. And conidiophore ends with phyllites. 
Conidio 4 ends with phyllides and phyllides produces chains of conidia. Phyllides produces chains of conidia. This is the picture of Telleromyces marnevi and it appear like a brush to clean the bottle that's why it is known as bottle brush appearance that description is no need to know if you know bottle brush appearance you are done so this is how you identify Telleromyces marnefi so this is how you can identify all the five dimorphic fungi which causes endemic fungal atypical pneumonia so with that we have completed the first five fungi which causes atypical pneumonia which causes endemic Fungal atypical pneumonia and all the five are dimorphic fungi. Manifestation for all the three is same. They cause pneumonia, they manifest with dyspnea. Treatment for all the five is same. Itraconosal and liposomal amphotericin B. Only thing they differ in the lab diagnosis. And in the lab diagnosis, you have to show the yeast form, you have to show the mold form because all are dimorphic fungi. We have shown the yeast form and also the mold form. We have highlighted the key points. <laughs>